Well, good morning. Uh, time for another update. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this weather, it's crazy, but we've still got snow. It's amazing. So what I've had to do is I've bit the bullet and I've actually put in a proper heating system for the garage. Uh, these are 3.3 kilowatt industrial heaters. One over there and one up there. And it makes it all nice and toasty warm in here because I was running out of excuses not to come in and do work on the car. So um, I'm back on the doors and this is what I mentioned about three years ago. Uh, if you, with the fiberglass door going over, you can bend it. So if someone's leaning over, it just goes, it just sags. So I've got little reinforcing bars or plates, and they literally follow the profile of the fiberglass door within about three mil. So all the way along the top, I'm going to put a bead of sealer or the adhesive and that will uh, hold the door structurally sound at the top as well as the uh, sides. Regarding the doors, these are the pockets that I fiberglass to seal the front which go around the, hi uh, the hinges. There's one and there's the second one. So that was all done. That was last weekend's work, making sure they're okay and it was just tidying up. Uh, a couple of places where I had low spots, which I've just uh, sort of dressed. Uh, I had to, I put a mold underneath, but these are basically, they're just sealing points around the hinge so it stops any water getting in from the front where the wheels sit. And next, what I was concentrating on, you can't really see it at the moment, but was the front scuttle panel trim. Now, as you can see, no window. Come to that in a second. But what I did was cut the whole center point out, as you can see, and this has all been uh, bonded in place. Uh, if I can turn that. And this is the front. That just needs to be cleaned up uh, rub down and then sprayed. The end points, can't really see from there. I haven't touched those yet. They're prepped up, ready to go. The reason I haven't touched them is because the trim comes around here. But it doesn't, it actually finishes further back. And to get an idea of what I need to do, I've had to purchase a new screen before I really wanted to because the screen is one of the last things I wanted to purchase and that will give me a point of reference for the skull trim so I know where to finish it off as you guys have all done this bit needs to be extended on the trim because it comes around a bit too far uh, sorry it doesn't come around far enough so what I'm going to do is follow the line of the new wing probably with a four mil gap or something and I might see how it goes I might put a bit of rubber um, I don't know rubber panel gap trim in there or something just to make it look a bit neater uh, so that's where I am at the moment uh, I'm now ready to put on the doors just waiting for the stuff to dry well doors are on I've lost my um, screw holes where I've cut the internal door so I've had to strap it as you can see and also that one's strapped up. I forgot, I'd actually, um, I've done all the work on the bonnet as well. I don't think you can actually, hang on. So all the cracks are dealt with and my cups, oh, a bit dusty. My cups are all in on both sides and all the cracks on the joins are all sorted out as well. All the way. <sighs> basically around the whole bonnet. Uh, I've also started to polish up the skull trim, bottom of the uh, window. So I've just got to do, uh, do a little bit of finalising around the edge. 
And then, obviously, as I said before, two ends. I'll do those next week when I get the window in. Well, sort of temporarily fitted. So that's it until the next update.